सर्कल द सेट ऑफ कोबलेनर पॉइंट विच आर गिवन इक्वी डिस्टेंट फ्रॉम अ गिवन पॉइंट then that set of point is considered to be a circle now the point from where all these points which form the circle the fixed point is known as center so in this case o is the center whereas the given circle is only the arc that has been drawn if we join center with any point on the circle then we get the radius of the circle in this case line segment ob is the radius in general term we can call that ob that is the distance is the radius of the given circle which is represented by small r if we join any two points on the circle that is in this case line segment de where d and e are on the circle then such line segment is called a chord a given circle will have infinite number of chords but if the chord is passing through the center that means it is the biggest chord of the circle then that will be referred as the diameter of the circle over here line segment ac passing through the center o and therefore line segment ac is the diameter of the circle now here we can see that line segment ac is nothing but union of two radii that means diameter is union of two radii that is oc and oa but if i say the converse of the given statement that is if i say union of two radii is a diameter now that won't be true for example in this case line segment ob union line segment oa they are not on the same line that will not give you the diameter similarly line segment ob union line segment oc is not going to give us the diameter that means a diameter is union of two radii but the converse statement that is the union of two radii is a diameter is not correct a circle will divide its plane into three disjoint sets that is circle itself the only arc part the interior of the circle that will not include the arc part and the exterior of the circle that is not going to include the arc or the interior of the circle so these will be the three disjoint sets that is circle interior of the circle and exterior of the circle supposing a circle with the center is given to us and a line intersects that particular circle in two distinct points a and b now the part of the circle which is including point a and point b but the part of the circle which is not containing the center of the circle that means a semi plane in which the circle has been divided by line ab the part of the circle not including the center of the circle will be called as a minor arc whereas in the similar condition if line intersects the circle in two distinct points say a and b then the part of the circle which includes the center of the circle will be called as a major arc but if that line is passing through the center of the circle that means if line segment ab is a diameter of the circle then each of the arc will be called as the semicircular arc that means a given diameter will divide the circle into two parts which will be referred as semicircular part you are given a circle with center o and two radii are been drawn that is line segment oa and line segment ob now the region which is enclosed between angle aob that will be referred as the minor sector whereas in the similar condition where line segment oa and line segment ob are the radii the region which or region of the circle which do not contain the interior of the angle aob that will be referred as the major sector whereas in case of if it is a diameter that means line segment ab is a diameter of the given circle then it divides the circular region into two sectors each of them known as the semicircular sector two circles with different centers but having equal radii then this type of circles are called as congruent circles whereas circles with the same center but different radii lying in the same plane 
then this type of circles are called as concentric circles.